Am I the a-hole for being upset that I'm not involved in my brother's wedding, which I'm paying for? I, female 31, have a brother, male 29, and he's getting married next year. We lost our mom in 2012 and our dad in 2016, and we are each other's only living relatives. I have a good job. I earn a lot of money, £150,000 per year. My brother also has a good job, but doesn't earn anywhere near as much, £35,000. We were raised to always look after each other and share. My partner and I are child-free. Over the years, I have paid my brother's master's degree, paid a down payment on his house. Our parents rented, so there was no family home. I will also be paying for my future sister-in-law, female 26, and my brother to have future rounds of IVF. Sister-in-law works part-time and earns about 50000 a year. Her parents are not well off. My brother asked if I could contribute to the cost of the wedding. I said I'd pay for it. I asked a small with 100 guests and set up a wedding account for them into which I put £25,000, which they both have access to. Sister-in-law's entire family are involved as bridesmaids and groomsmen, while my husband and I are just guests. Brother and sister-in-law have been going around venues with her family, and I get emailed the costing if it's selected. I told my brother I don't mind paying for the wedding, but I feel really weird that everyone else is involved in the decision and I'm just involved with paying. Brother has said that I'm not our parents. I can't replace our parents. That's why I'm not involved. Why can't I just do something nice without making him feel crap? I feel like a knee-hole for causing drama, but also feel taken advantage of. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. You are not his parents, but let's face it. You have certainly financially supported him like one in so many different ways. And it doesn't sound like you are trying to control things, just want to be included the same as sister-in-law's family has been. Now that he is going to be a great big married adult, I think it is time you cut off your support and let him be the independent person he is. This. You are not a whole. He wants to cut you out of even being involved, then he doesn't need your money. He has it right. You're not his parent, so stop acting like it. He is an adult. He can worry about his own finances. I don't think you should even pay for the wedding. If he is behaving like this now, he'll just cut you off and contact again when he needs help. So not worth of your efforts and money. Not today, Hall, obviously, but he is a major one. Having made a commitment to pay for the wedding, backing out would be a nail move. Especially as there was no discussion of what involvement Opie would have. To impose retrospective conditions is not fair. However, going forward, Opie's sibling is not entitled to anything. I hope Opie hasn't actually promised them anything concrete about the IVF. Not day home. You are paying for entirely too much. If they can't afford a wedding on their own, then they can't afford kids. You need to stop being the gravy train. They also need to reduce the cost of the wedding. 25,000 pounds? Not day home. You're being taken advantage of. What kind of a relationship do you have? Because this looks like it only comes down to money when talking about your brother. Edit. After reading your replies, the sisters are bridesmaids. The brothers of the bride are groomsmen. You didn't even get an invite to the engagement party? You have paid for so much stuff aside from their wedding. Also pretend to pay for IVF. Let me tell you. If they don't have enough money for IVF, they probably don't have enough to maintain a child. I advise you to please stop paying for their stuff. It's too much. They probably will ask Opie for support on a regular basis. Next story. Am I the a-hole for not inviting my sister-in-law to my wedding? Backstory. My 26 male older brother Jack, 32 male, was once the golden child of the family. Then when he started dating Jill, 32 female, our mother became weirdly jealous. She would constantly run Jill down behind her back and would always make snarky remarks to her face. To her credit, Jill never retaliated and always remained friendly. When Jack and Jill got married, my mother's behavior towards her worsened, to the point she ruined their wedding day. When Jack announced that they were having a baby, mom suddenly wanted to be Jill's best friend. This changed again soon as Jill gave birth to my niece. I won't go into detail, but her behavior resulted in Jack and Jill going no contact with her. It has been three years since all of this occurred. I still speak to all of them and see my mother regularly. I recently got engaged to my partner, Laura, 24 female, and we have been planning our wedding. I've asked Jack to be my best man, and he agreed. 
since we will be busy most of the day, his interactions with mom will be pretty limited. I was feeling confident that our day would be drama-free, until Laura came home from wedding dress shopping looking stressed out. When I asked her what was wrong and she told me that my mom, who was invited along with her mother and our bridesmaids, made a comment about how she was looking forward to putting Jill in her place at the wedding. Apparently, she then ran Jill down to anyone that would listen and made everyone feel uncomfortable. Understandably, we both became worried that mom's feud with Jill would ruin our wedding day. So we came to the decision to invite Jill in order to avoid this. When I spoke to Jack about our decision, he got upset and kept repeating that this was his wife. The mother of his child and my sister-in-law that we were excluding for something that wasn't her fault. I repeatedly told him that I think Jill is great and that I don't think she has done anything wrong. But I don't want drama in my wedding day or for her to be put into an uncomfortable situation with our mother. Jack ended up telling me that if mom can't even last a day without starting drama, then maybe I should be reassessing who needs to be uninvited and that if his wife couldn't attend, he wouldn't either. I feel like I am stuck behind a rock at a hard place here. I know Jill hasn't done anything wrong and have never been able to understand why mom is so rude to her when she has always been nice to Laura. I know that my mom is the one in the wrong with all of this, but she is my mother and wants her at my wedding. Just to add, Jill texted me after my conversation with Jack and told me that she understands and not to worry. She would talk to Jack once it calmed down. You're the a-hole. You're punishing the victim and enabling an abuser. Couldn't have said it's better myself. You're the a-hole. I mean, it really is that simple. I know it's their wedding and all that, but the my wedding my rules excuse goes away when it means enabling mistreatment slash bullying. There's no other factor weighing in his decision. It's a choice between having his mom and a best man's wife, his sister-in-law, who she bullied at his wedding. Jill isn't the one starting drama. Why would she be punished for it? If anything, an invite the bully. Opie's choice will communicate to his mom that alienating and bullying Jill with her mean girl tricks is okay and leads to no consequences. Like, take a hard, hard look at the situation. Even the event that leads Opie and his bride to uninvite Jill was caused by his mother, making everyone uncomfortable. She's so nice to Laura. What makes Opie think she won't set her sights on his wife one day? And if she does, what will Opie do? Stand there with his enabling ways while mommy dearest bullies Laura? You're the a-hole. Your mother is the root cause of these problems, not Jill. Either confront her like an adult and ask her to act like a mature person, or invite her to the wedding. And inviting Jill absolutely makes you the a-hole. Better yet, and invite your mom from your life. She sounds like a toxic textbook abuser. Yep, definitely. Jill should be invited because she is your brother's wife and she has done nothing wrong. And this is a good hill for Jack to die on. Your mother is the one that should be uninvited. She is definitely an a-hole. You're the a-hole. Jack is right. You're punishing the victim of bullying and mistreatment and rewarding your mom's terrible behavior. Thank goodness Jill has a husband to stand up for her. Laura obviously does not. Laura better sees this as a red flag in her relationship. Opie is now the golden child and married to his mom. You're the a-hole. While gout shopping for your future bride's dress, your mother announces how she cannot wait to make your wedding all about her issues with your sister-in-law. And your response is to ban your sister-in-law and not your mother? What the heck is wrong with you? She's already taken that joyful, happy occasion and made it about herself. I mean, I'm guessing you have said absolutely nothing to your mom just how out of line that was. Throughout looking to buy the dress, she says, I do win. And your mom decides it's about her and make herself the focus. Dude, you've got to stand up for yourself and your future bride. This isn't your mom's opportunity to shame someone. This is for you and your future bride to share with the people who love and support you. Get your head out of your bottom. Apologize to your brother, your sister-in-law, and especially your bride. Then tell your mother she's no longer invited. Tell her you have hired a couple of duty police officers to make sure she's unable to gain entry. Next story is titled, Am I the a-hole for telling my wife to shut the heck up because of the remarks she made towards my 16-year-old sister? My male 28 sister, female 16, was diagnosed with cancer in 2021, and treatment has been hard on her. She is the shy type and can be incredibly insecure and lack confidence about her looks. 
Any remark, no matter how small, would get to her and affect her right away. It's a while since I've seen her. And the other day, I was FaceTiming her and my parents to check on her. My wife joined us and sat next to me without taking her eyes off my sister. Note that my wife is a makeup artist and tends to make plenty of assumptions about other women's faces, which isn't a cool thing. But anyway, my wife started talking to my sister about whether or not she started caring for her skin. And my sister said she recently started a clean and clear lotion to improve her look. But my wife chuckled and said that clearly this product isn't working because she, my sister, still looked like a cancer patient even though she's recovered. I was stunned, and so were my parents. My sister immediately got up and left the room. I looked at my wife and told her what she said was messed up, and that she should shut the hell up with her nonsense remarks, because she just insulted and hurt my sister. She started backpedaling saying she was just giving her opinion, and a fight started. My parents hung up, and my wife flipped out saying I humiliated her by telling her to SDHU in front of my parents, and claimed I had no respect for her to speak to her like that. I told her what she said made my sister cry knowing that she's been through hell and can be very insecure about her self-image. But my wife argued that she's being too sensitive and she was again just giving her opinion and giving her advice in terms of skincare. I stormed off leaving her yelling about what an a-hole I was to speak to her this way and ruined the respect my parents had for her. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. Bullying your little sister who suffered through freaking cancer for her looks is divorce material. Was she a high school mean girl or something? Did you find her on a set of a teenage drama movie? The audacity to speak like this to your sister. I cannot stay with that person. Do you plan on having children? Isn't makeup about impairment? Sorry, but this got my blood boiling. I'm ready to call you an a-hole if you do not seriously think that relationship. This, not a hall to OP for standing up for your little sister, but you could be one if you're not considering divorce. Unacceptable behavior, and no apology or feelings of remorse. Agreed. This is divorce-worthy behavior. She's a makeup artist. If she wanted, she could have helped OP's sister with her looks tremendously. But instead of doing right by her sister-in-law, who's previously struggling, she chose to drag her down. It's not just an opinion. If nobody asks for her opinion, said opinion will just be a potentially hurtful remark no one asked for. She knows exactly what she was doing, but flipped out when Opie rightfully called her out on it. Note my wife is a makeup artist and tends to make plenty of assumptions about other women's faces, which isn't a cool thing. I'm so glad you noticed that about her, but have you ever confronted her on that? I kept reading and Jesus Christ on a stick. I would have shut the laptop straight away while your wife was still talking. Giving her opinion? Guess what, lady? Not everything that falls from your mouth is straight gold. Or wanted. Oh my god. I wouldn't know how to be with a person like this. So toxic. And oblivious to their own terrible behavior. Not today, home. Edit. Came back after I recovered a little. Your wife is a terrible, terrible and small person. She told your baby sister of 16 years old, a teenager who at that age struggles enough with self-confidence issues, and a cancer survivor on top of that, that she looks terrible, and after that tries to die on the hill that you ruined and respect of your parents for her? I've spent two years working on myself, and thought I hung up the pitchforks because I tried to act more mature and composed on the internet, but I'm getting twitchy in my fingers for that pitchfork. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for refusing to invite my estranged mother-in-law to my daughter's birthday? When I was dating my now husband, his mom didn't seem to like me and we had a couple issues, which I'd say had to do with her not handling change well, or us just being very different people and struggling to understand each other. But the relationship wasn't awful. When we got engaged, she rolled her eyes and made snarky comments, but she did offer to pay. She had quite a bit of money, so we didn't think anything of it. It accepted. She was kind of rude during wedding planning, but I didn't think much of it. Then she walked out of wedding dress shopping, pulled all her money out of the wedding, and stopped speaking to us. To be clear, nothing happened. She just stood up and walked out. 
The only minor explanation I got was from her sister who said she just feels like it is never about her and she is sick of paying for other people to have things. I didn't get it at all. It wasn't about her and she didn't have to pay. She offered. My husband tried to contact her but she was adamant that she wanted no contact. He let go and we didn't see her for 10 years. Then ran into her somewhere and they were connected. She's married now. He has two sisters she's never met and we have three kids she's never met. My husband wanted a relationship with her and mother-in-law was open to it. He met with her a couple times and she never gave any explanation for ghosting us beyond a relationship wasn't working for her and she was sick of doing things for other people. But besides paying, which she offered, she never did anything for anyone. I have no respect for her but I'm fine with my husband wanting a relationship. I had dinner with her and her husband once, and she showed absolutely zero remorse. The issue is my husband invited her to our daughter's birthday without consulting me. He admits he got carried away and never should have done that, but would like her to come and bring her two kids. I am not comfortable at all with this. I don't want her to meet my kids. I don't think a birthday party is the appropriate place. If she had shown some remorse, I would feel differently. Not today home. A child birthday is definitely not an appropriate time for the children to meet their relatives. Your husband needs to cancel the invite immediately. Not today home. People who are sideline observers don't get tickets to the main event. Not today home. After everything she has done, he let her return into your lives as nothing? No way. I will put a stop there. Your mother-in-law is the a-hall, but your husband is too. These things must be talked between both parts because marriage means that you are a team. And being 10 years without contact, I don't know. It seems to me that he was in contact with her. I don't find any reason why after 10 years they decided to reconnect just because they ran into one another. Not stay whole. Protect your child from a toxic person. I don't believe they were in contact. I know he tried to contact her a few times and she asked to be left alone. He seemed genuinely shocked when he saw her with her two new kids. They just ran into each other and he took the opportunity and mother-in-law was open to it. But to be honest, doesn't seem very affected by any of this. Info. Can you shed any light on why she would reject her child like that? A man who did nothing wrong? It's unfathomable to me. I think she was tired of paying for other people's weddings. She had been paying her parents' bills since she was like 12 or 13. She had paid for two weddings before this and never got one of her own. She was lonely and wanted a man, but worked all the time and had no social skills from getting homeschooled. She was homeschooled. She was working. Seeing me, who she never liked happy, set her off. She probably had him too young and felt trapped, but I seemed to be the catalyst that she wouldn't take it anymore.